what he was here. Here's the cat room, y'all. Then boxes and I mean, food bowls. That's disgusting. I think cats are disgusting, but I like them. I never own them. This is the Jelly Belly Enclosure. I call it Jelly Belly, not no advertising here. Not real. Anyways, Jelly Belly Enclosure. The same method for the reptile dripper video I got. That's the same shit I did here. Try not to dent it in because once you dent it in, it's very hard to undent with this kind of plastic. I really don't know what kind it is. But as you see, I got, I try to always maintain a little order, but obviously, as you see, I'm not very good at that because I started one, 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 then the extras, blah, 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 but somewhere along the line, just. <laughs> And I just got mad at it and started stabbing it. <laughs> With the nail hot, by the way. Um, Bottle cap from, I think, a Gatorade or something like that. Really cheap. Um, I'm about to show you the inside. Hold on, I'm going to show you guys the outer side. Cross ventilation is very, very important in some species. Other species, you might not really need it. As a matter of fact, I made another one of these without the cross ventilation, and it just has the top. And it also has this torn off, which I didn't do this with the second one because tearing this off has some sticky adhesive, I believe it's called. And that is really just, I've been fucking with the first one for five hours now. I cannot get it off. Don't waste the time just leaning on there. It actually looks pretty nice, you know, Christmas colors, you know. It's beautiful. If you're Mexican, Italian, hey, you got those colors too. Maybe you're just fat, like me. I like jelly bellies. I don't know what jelly bellies are. I'm just, mom had this laying around. Anyways, yeah, you know, see all that humidity still in there. But the way to check these is, might sound gross to some of y'all, but. And you can blow the other way, and I still feel a little, you know, airflow. It's not a major airflow, but keeping a spider or small centipede. By the way, a small spider or a tarantula, what do you call them, slings? Or a baby, a large insect, whatever. You don't need much ventilation, blah, blah, blah. Again, same method I usually use. I have a decorative stone, um, a little piece of bark, a cap, no water in it, because there's nothing in here right now. This is a mixture of topsoil, sand, Dry leaves, live leaves that fallen off from the tree and are dying, so I should say dying leaves. Um, some roots that have been cleaned and everything. What else? Is, there's other pieces of bark and stone in there mixed in there. All right, this on top of it is sphagnum moss. This is the free sphagnum moss is what I call it because there is sphagnum moss also mixed in there along with a little bit of Spanish moss. I, at least I think it's Spanish. I don't know what that shit is. But um, pill bottle. I used to take a lot of medication, as you can tell from previous videos if you watched them. If you haven't, that's cool. I don't really care. I'm just doing them just for fun. Um, pill bottle hide. And what I've done here is this, at the most, will get sprayed with dechlorinated water, uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I use that refuse safe shit. Um, I buried it with dirt and I compressed it down with the sphagnum moss and the sand mixture and the bark. It actually holds it a lot tighter. And, you know, so it won't really move that much, even with a misting. And you can't see in there, but I've blocked everything. There is no light in that hide. That's a tip if you're keeping a little baby scorpion, spider, anything. There's even, like, a little speck of light showing. They usually don't like that, and it discourages them. You know, I mean, unless you got, like, a Chilean, and she might actually use it for that reason. Oh, did I say Chilean? I know that's a power word, but Chilean. Vorarium. I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. By the way, I don't recommend this. In my own opinion, let me say this now. Excuse me. I don't really agree with the whole 10-gallon tarantula thing. It works. It works. Don't get me wrong. You can do that if you wish. For me, I don't, just, I don't not knock at anybody for trying a larger tank. If you want to try, put it this way. I'll have my Chilean rose hair. And 125 gallons with about six to eight inches of substrate, a bunch of hives and rocks. The only reason I had to take her out is because my mother needed it for those rats. Those rats are jumbled. They need that. All right, I understand that. But if you want to try it, don't let anyone talk you out of it because 
it's, it's able to be done if you do it right. Just take all the considerations of your pet into care, like snakes. Come on, man. Snakes like a lot of room to move. They just need a lot of high, deep substrate, things to climb on, you know, and they hot, heat it properly and all that. Obviously, it's common sense. Anyway, let's get back to this. Anyway, yeah, just took a nail, heated it like I showed you with the reptile dripper, poke, poke, poke. Poke through the sides. I poke through the inside on, on most of these. I poke through the inside because I'm worried, like, if the, you see these stick out. Now, that's not sharp to me, but it might be sharp to a bug or something. I don't want the bug to cut itself, which I doubt it will. But, I mean, just to be safe, it doesn't hurt. And this can work from so crickets, um, not crickets, so crickets. Crickets probably eat through this. Um, terrestrial spiders, like wolf spiders, um, maybe small, small arboreals, but I'd give them something taller. <coughs> Tarantula slings, baby centipedes, small size centipedes, um, yeah. You know, you might even get away with a blind snake, but I wouldn't, I'm not recommending that. Actually, I will tell you, don't do that one. But yeah, I like to put isopods in here and springtails. That's just me. I guess I'm weird. If it wasn't illegal in Florida, I'd probably be keeping some roaches. I'll be real with you. I like all kinds of shit like that. But yeah, that's the Jelly Belly enclosure. Whatever I get in here will obviously be named Jelly and Belly. This is nothing for the company, just in case, you know. It's nothing about the company. I'm pretty sure Jelly Belly is great, but I don't know.